Hey guys, welcome back. And if you can see off in the distance, I bought a tractor. And we're going to go pick it up. It has a tillage machine. It's a cultivator. And uh, 8410 is the tractor. 8410 with weights in the front. Duels all the, the way around. Flashers. And this is the cultivator that it will be pulling for this spring. And it sounds so good when you start it off. When you start it up, too. I'll have to come back later to get my truck. There is someone coming. Sorry if you guys heard me sneeze and cough. I tried to cover the microphone with my hand, but I don't know if I did or didn't. So tell me what you think. Do you like the 8410 or not? I think the 8410 is a good uh, tractor for our farm. I have two 8410s actually. One with no front duels and one with back duels. Well, one with all duels and one with only duels in the back. And now I think I'm going to end up buying a lime spreader for the farm, so I can spread lime. Oh no, I hit the cement wall with the tractor. I'm going to ruin something. There we go. And now we just park it in here. There we go. Now I can, this is the Case IH uh, 8950, and then I have a uh, same one, the same tractor, but four-wheel drive. One has a front loader, and one doesn't, and then I have a MX285 Case IH. Case IH MX 285. Then a 8410 John Deere. 8410 John Deere. And now I'm going to buy a fertilizer spreader. And it's going to be this. 
I have to take a loan out. I'll pay the loan later after harvest. You think this is enough money? 300, no. 300,000, no, 3,600,000, 6,879, I'll go more. There, good enough. Now, I will buy a fertilizer spreader. This is for what I just bought. And it's either this that I will buy or this. I think I'm going to buy that. And that's it. Um, I don't think I need anything else. Oh, wait. I need a wait. There. That should be a good wait. Now I have to grab the MX-285. and drive it down to the dealership. <coughs> and now, when we get down to the dealership, we will pick the sprayer up. Actually, I'll come down for the sprayer separate because I'm going to get the lime machine and fertilizer machine that injects it. No one's coming. Someone's coming. And go. And now we have to go to the dealership and get some, well, more implements. And this is going to go on the 8410, but I thought I'd bring the MX-285 down first because it's faster. And I'll front wait for it now. Oh boy. I'm going. Now hopefully there's no cop. And he does not stop us. Because if he does, that could be bad. 
because I did not have my flashers on. Are we gonna make it? Please make it, please make it. Yes, perfect. In the field, it'll be a little hard turning around, I think. And now we have a uh, Case I H mower, a rake, and a John Deere DB60 corn planter and soybean planter. Corn and soybean. Now I'm gonna unhook it all right here. Oh wow, that weight is heavy on the front of the tractor. And now I'm going to put the weight in here because we don't need the weight right now. We will maybe have a custom crew come out and chop some corn for us. But I don't know if we will. But if we do, then I might see if we could get to run it, the chopper. Oh yeah, what am I thinking? This is the tractor that I'm going to bring back on the sprayer. Drop the books off and run down to the shop and pick up a bucket with a grapple and then also grab the fertilizer spreader the structure goes really slow This will be the tractor that we use to do the fertilizer. The, excuse me, I don't know. The liquid fertilizer. This is the tractor that it's going to be on. Oh, the car.